Hey, welcome to a very special live edition of Nerd Stuff. I'm Josh, and today we got something cool going on. I've been working on this Ghostbusters Proton Pack now for quite a while, several months, and I've been ordering little bits and pieces when I can, and the last parts are here. And frankly, they're the coolest parts. Uh, now, I already had my lights and switches installed in the Neutrino Wand, which that's pretty cool, and we showed that a little bit last week on Spooky Talk Show. Uh, but now we've got the pack lights and the icing on the cake. We've got the soundboard. So we're going to see if we can get that all installed today and see if it makes sounds. I don't know why it wouldn't. If it doesn't, then we all cry. Well, you guys laugh, I cry, and uh, that's, that's it. So uh, we're going to take a look here. All right, so here's the back of our proton pack <clears throat> just a nice empty shell okay and let's take a look here we go <laughs> okay so we've got let's see if we can here we go uh, uh. all right bear with me now okay so here we go this is from uh, ghostbustersfan.com Let's take a quick look. There's their website. Uh, they're currently closed due shipping, uh, so I'm, I may have been one of the last people to get something out, which is fantastic. Thank you, guys, because uh, now I have something to do. Uh, so here we go. Let's take a look. Watch me slice my finger open on live camera. Okay, no, okay. We got here. All right, so we've got looks like here's our pack light set, and this is going to provide the red blinking lights in the bottom of the pack as well as this guy, which this should be our blue meter that go ah, that goes up and down. Yeah, these are. These are our pack lights here. Sorry, I'm okay. And let's go ahead and open this guy up. My first unboxing, so I'll I'll drop everything as best I can. Here we go. Maybe that's a little better. There we go. All right, so. Here's the first part. Yeah. Okay, there's my hat. Yeah, that's an important part. Amazing packing job on this stuff. There's no way it's getting damaged and shipping. Okay, there we go out of there and Oh, for crying out loud. There we go. There is our big bad daddy. And not in focus at all. Awesome. Okay, so there we go. We should be able to plug everything in and make it all work. I don't know about you guys, but I want to hear the sounds before I hear anything. So let's see what we can do. Okay, and there we are. Okay. So let's go ahead and just connect our pack blaster. Let's see, right there. Well, I can only go one way. It must go this way. That's not even the right plug. I am the smartest dude. There we go. Look at that. That fits a little better. Okay, so let's connect up our power. Which we should just be able to use this 9-volt battery. Let's see. If 
I could only figure out where it went. Hmm. Ah, right there, of course. Oh, okay, well this one is a tiny flathead instead of a tiny Phillips, so I'm not prepared. How about that? Let's see what we can do. Let's see if that guy will fit. He sure will. Okay. And ah, now that's just an input, so we are going to have to rig up some kind of speaker. But if we connect our battery, then we'll at least know if it's feeding through to our neutrino wand. There we go. I know some of you guys are totally cringing at this. Oh, well, we got power to the board. I can see that. That's a good sign. Now, let's see if we've got power to the neutrino on. And we do, all right. Let's see, I'll show you guys that, see? So, with the battery connected in our pack, now we have this working awesome. So, uh, and since the last one, if we, uh, I don't know if you can check this out, but maybe you can hear when you fire now. It vibrates, oh man. That's right, I'm in nerd heaven. Okay, well now, let's see if we can find a speaker. I didn't really think this through and totally didn't even bring a speaker or have one ready, so let's see what I can dig up real quick. Fortunately, there's buckets of stuff everywhere might just have a speaker lying around. Possibly in this box. Looky there. And it's even an 8 ohm. What a lucky fellow I am. And there's even some random wires that we can use. Look at that, fantastic. Okay, so let's see here. We'll chop off a couple of these black and red wires from whatever wiring harness this used to be. And strip the wires with your teeth as such. Actually, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. Oh, you guys, I am so excited. This has been a long time coming. I'm gonna fire up soldering iron. Let's see what we can do here. I believe this speaker came out of an old Road Blasters arcade machine. Glad I saved it. Okay. All right, well. Let's see if we can finally get this thing done. And the last wire. All right. Make sure those are actually in there. 
looks good oh my gosh guys okay let's flip our speaker over these connections ought to be okay for the moment moment of truth um, sorry for the shaky cam Let's grab this guy right here. Here we go. Did we do everything correctly or did I screw it up royally? Here we go. And not hearing anything right off the bat. We'll say I'm not 100% sure that this speaker does in fact work, but I think it works. Mm -hmm. Okay, well we know the power is okay. And we know our connection there is good. So let's try a different speaker very quickly. And then I've actually got a couple. Swap this guy out, his twin brother. Still no sound. What are we doing wrong here, guys? At least the vibrate motor works. Well, we could check the manual. <laughs> no, that's actually not a bad idea. We've got our positive and negative hooked up right. This figure's got a hole in it, but I would think it would be giving us some kind of noise. Don't you guys think it would be making some kind of noise? But no such noise. Well, let's check the manual. See what we can figure out here. Amplified soundboard, there it is. I'm gonna guess there's a well I thought there'd be maybe some instructions. Let's check the documentation here. Maybe it's all on this. We could be lucky and maybe that happens. Sure. Okay. All right, that's the pack lights. is not going as easy as I thought, but hey, whatever does. Let's check the PDF that comes with the wand. It had quite a few instructions. And I believe at the bottom it even had hooking it up to the 
audio board. Let's see, come on. Standalone battery, soundboard connection. All right. Don't hook up the battery. Good, I did that. Hook it to that one. Great, did that. Yeah, there's our rumble motor. Okay. We did that, and we think that's working because it's definitely sending power through that cable, so that should be working. Well, I mean, that's just the wiring diagram now. Come on, guys. There's got to be some documentation for the soundboard. Did I miss it? Maybe I just missed it. Requires 8-ohm speaker rated to 10 watts an hour. I think we're pretty close to that. It's definitely an 8-ohm speaker. It was probably about 8 to 10 watts. Oh gosh, well, maybe something in the reviews. Literally just plug and go. Hmm. Now these people act like there was some sort of documentation. Just connect the speaker, battery, and two light kits. Do we have to have the other light kit installed for it to work? I wouldn't think so. Simple to install, yada, yada, yada. Hmm, direct in, yes, we saw that. Well, nobody mentions that there is uh, 12 volt battery may be better than 9 volt because it may, okay, and you may get fuzz. I'd be happy with some sound. No one says anything about there actually being documentation. Well, frequently asked questions. None of them relate to this. Okay, well, huh. Well, you guys, we're going to have to do a little fiddling around. Let's see. One's my middle name. Let's go ahead and attach the other board on the off chance that makes some sort of difference. And we can at least make sure this works. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. I heard something coming out of that speaker. Let's go ahead and hook everything together. Maybe we'll figure this out accidentally. Okay, there's these guys. Any of these working now? I would think this guy would be going up and down. Hmm. This does say wand lights, so that's hooked up right. This says pack lights, so that's hooked up right. This guy has an expansion on it, not sure what that's about. Maybe the system needs a reboot. Oh! <laughs> that was something. Okay, I do think this speaker is blown. <laughs> oh, it's always funny when it scares me. Okay, let's see if we actually get some kind of sound. No, but something. Hmm. I'm not getting these power cell lights either. switch back to this other speaker it looks like it's in better shape I don't know if that means much but it at least doesn't have a rip in it I hope that means 
means it sounds a little better. So probably making some crackling sounds. Got a little bit of a hiss now. Still nothing there. Let's turn everything off. All right. <laughs> now we've got something. These guys are now going, or well, they were a second ago. Although our cyclotron lights are not going. Oh, that was just standby. Now we go into power up. Now what have we got? Nothing. <laughs> now come on. These pack lights should be lighting up. There's all sorts of configuration pins on this, but with no instruction manual, I'm not sure. We definitely got a little power up sound coming out of that guy. Sounds like the volume was up all the way. Let's turn everything back off. All right, let's see here. Still nothing. Okay. Okay, I think we may be there now. It was just a matter of setting it right. We've got our LEDs strobing, and we've got our our four LEDs. Holy moly, that's bright. Okay, let me move that away from the camera for a second. There we go. So we got our four LEDs that take turns glowing one at a time. Yeah, wonderful. Okay. Those will go underneath our red lenses we picked up. Nope. And good grief, that's bright. Well, that will definitely work. Okay, now... Okay, now's the real test. Now the fun begins. Okay. Okay, so now what I understand is should be able to push this button and we actually hear the firing sound. Oh, overheated. Okay. Now, one of the funnier things is, I believe if I push this switch marked Activate, it should play the Ghostbusters theme song. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Better not play too much of that, it's a copyright strike, but hey, looky there. We've got it installed. Let's try that firing one more time. Let's see if I can get this over here where you guys can hear it real good. There we go. All right. What happened? Bad connection on the speaker on my part, maybe? Let's try it again. No, we may need to restart. Let's try that. Well, it makes a lot of weird sounds. Okay, let's try it again. Oh, okay. Combination you've got to do. We've got to put a switch on this so we don't have to keep disconnecting the battery. Okay, let's give it a shot now. Now let's power it on. Okay. Weird, interesting. Probably not enough power in this nine volt battery. Okay, and if we fire. Hmm.
Now we don't have any firing sound. Well, isn't this thing just full of fun? <laughs> All right, let's try it again. Let's turn it off. Pack lights do an off. They apparently don't. I guess they keep going even when you power the wand off. All right, so. Make sure our speaker's connected properly. <laughs> All right. Let's try it again. Okay, I think it's the bottom switch first, and then the top switch, and then we should be able to fire. <laughs> okay. Well, that could be a speaker issue. Or well, could be this ch crappy 9 volt battery I'm using to power everything. Definitely seems like it works. What happens if we try, try the music again? Yeah, it's not one to work. Okay. Hmm. Well, it's a quirky, quirky thing. I think that's where we're going to stop now. I'm gonna try and get all this stuff glued into place and uh, maybe if I can rustle up a switch, we'll try that again. So maybe tomorrow we'll have a full pack demonstration or I'll just uh, keep working on it until we are ready to have a full pack demonstration. Yay, thank you guys for tuning into Nerd Prince and I'll see you guys later. Stay tuned for a spo new spooky talk show coming up Sunday though. That's right. Spooky talk show and all of that jazz. <laughs>